Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're talking about sweater weather fragrances and that's why I have my big sweater on. It is fall here in Canada. It's definitely becoming a lot cooler during the day. The sun is going down a lot faster. And so when it comes to fragrances, I love something super cozy, something maybe a little bit more sweet, a little bit more gourmand. And so I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of fragrances that I think are just perfect for the sweater weather. I love something that just vibes with my clothing. And so when I know I'm going to be wearing a chunky sweater, a jacket on top, there are certain fragrances that just flow with that entire aesthetic. So if you want to know what is the perfect fragrance to wear with your chunky sweater, this is the video for you. If you're new to the channel, my name is Karina Waldron and I would absolutely love it if you hit the subscribe button. One, it is free. Two, we love talking about smelling good. And three, we're all positive vibes. So go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment down below so we welcome you into our little family and also give the video a thumbs up because it helps me so, so much. And let's jump into it. Let's start off with one that is very obvious to many of you guys. It's in a ton of people's category when it comes to fall and winter fragrances and for all the right reasons. This is Replica by The Fireplace. If you have never tried this fragrance out, I highly recommend you checking it out because it is one of my favorites from Replica. I love that this brand really replicates a memory, a time, a place. It's just magical how they always do it. This is by The Fireplace and this is a burning wood and chestnut fragrance. It's unisex and I love it. It was definitely love at first sniff. Now, Mind you, if you're just smelling this for the first time, I will absolutely warn you that it's gonna be quite smoky, okay? Quite smoky and woody, but let that dry down. Let that dry down. Ooh, the dry down is warm and sweet, inviting, comforting. It is just such a gorgeous unisex fragrance definitely isn't leaning too masculine in my opinion, but it depends what your love of fragrance is. If you love a straight up floral, very, very feminine, this is gonna be really different. But I think during the fall, when you have your sweater on, this just smells incredible. If you have a weekend getaway, a vacation where you're gonna be near the snow, this is like the perfect scent. It literally smells like you are around a campfire, but in the most beautiful way. You're roasting those marshmallows. So the sweetness from the marshmallow, the smokiness, the fun times with friends and families around you. This is what I smell when I close my eyes and I put this all over me. Amazing memories with this. The next one is a niche fragrance. And I think this is definitely a very unique fragrance. It's very, very loud in terms of the projection and the way that it lasts on your skin is incredible. Like when you think of niche fragrances, this is the quality that you want in a niche scent. Something that is impeccable, reliable, and absolutely stunning. This is from Maison Crivelli. It's Iris Malacan. I probably might be butchering the name, but you guys will definitely get a close up of that beautiful bottle. This is one that I received late last year. So I didn't get a ton of wear and I definitely will be pulling this out a lot more. With this fragrance, I go very light handed because it is quite potent. There's beautiful notes in this fragrance. There is vanilla, there's leather, there's orris, there's amber. And to me, it definitely has almost like this chocolatey vibe. It has a little bit of this powderiness to it. I definitely feel like there's like a chocolatey vibe in this fragrance. I get like a vanilla tone in here. It is very unisex to me. I don't feel like it pulls too masculine or too feminine. It's just a quite unique scent that I think everyone should try to experience. You can get a sample of this on Twisted Lily and you can use a little special code down in the description box that I will leave down below. But this is a masterpiece of fragrance and I think the fragrance house overall is stunning. They have so many gorgeous unique scents but this is the one that stands out the most to me. Very potent like I said so I literally do one to two sprays 
it's also a little smoky so unique please please get a sample try it out make sure you wear it on the skin let that dry down because the dry down to me is the best part if you're looking for something very very gourmand very fall very delicious it's giving all of that and this is Feb Delicieuse from Christian Dior this is a beautiful fragrance from the brand it's from their private line a lot of people spoke about this in the last two years and for all the right reasons this is such a stunning fragrance there are beautiful really heavy notes I won't lie there's tonka there's vanilla there's milk in here there's like cacao and caramel it is just filled with so many delicious gourmand notes and it will give you the best coziest feel like this to me smells like a good warm hug like you are just hugging someone that you absolutely love and it feels so good almost like you haven't seen them in a really long time that's what this one smells to me you have to like your gourmands because this is definitely leaning gourmand and I will warn you that it is quite powdery even on me and I'm not the best at powdery fragrances so I tend to use this very lightly I don't use it all the time and sometimes I'll layer it just to cut the powderiness but it is powdery. So if you love that stunning powderiness in a fragrance, you are 100% going to love, love this scent. And even though there are quite heavy gourmand notes, I don't feel like this is dense and I don't feel like this is like sickening sweet. Like we have other fragrances like Italica that are very heavy and dense and lactonic. This still has a little bit of this airy quality to it it that just vibes oh my god this is a masterpiece when it comes to gourmand fragrances and you don't want to smell like straight up just just food just food but a true gourmand fragrance I really do think of this one it is beautiful delicious in all the right ways there's a bit of freshness still there that I pick up that doesn't leave me just suffocated with all these sweet, heavy notes. And I think that coating of powderiness really elevated this fragrance and gave it more of an airy feel to it. So stunning. Definitely check it out. I feel like out of all of the designer brands, Dior has some really gorgeous fragrance when it comes to their private line. So if you ever have a chance to check out their private line, sample as much as you can because there are some hidden gems if you are in toronto saks Fifth avenue downtown has the entire collection i highly recommend you go there check it out smell those fragrances because they are stunning so another fragrance that is super cozy yet very very wearable and is not too heavy is milk from commodity commodity has been around for a while they did go away for a little bit and rebranded which i think they did an incredible job i think that the new bottles are stunning and their whole um, outline of how you pick a fragrance how they have three different ways of picking the same scent that they can be a little louder or softer it's really really cool if you guys want to see a video on commodity and how it all works I will definitely do that for you so leave a comment down below and let me know because they are quite a unique brand in my opinion and here is milk and it just looks so beautiful so this one has notes of milk of course there's marshmallow in here I think there's natural musk uh, tonka bean and mahogany so I feel like the concoction of this fragrance it gives you some sweetness but it's quite fluffy and a little bit of a deeper woody dry down it's very very unisex but something about this gives me all the cozy feels and just smells incredible with a sweater. Now you can definitely pull this off with any kind of outfit in my opinion, because it's so wearable and very, very likable. I think it's a really gorgeous introduction to slightly gourmand fragrances without pulling too gourmand if you are scared of that, because 
everything's really balanced in my opinion. The sweet is just perfect. The fluffiness is perfect. There's a little bit of a deeper tone with that woodiness. So it's a really great way to try out gourmand scents without going heavy gourmand and tulip tonic. Even though it is called milk, do not be scared. This is not going to be a heavy lactonic fragrance whatsoever. And it just smells really delicious, quite addictive in my opinion. So if you've never tried it, try it out. They do have some gorgeous scents to select from. I really like paper and I also really like gold. Milk is perfect for the fall and winter. Honestly, I feel like milk, you can probably wear it all year round just not like really dense, heavy, heavy weather, but um, it's just a beautiful scent. Again, completely unisex, so check them out. The fragrance that I have over here is totally different from all of the other fragrances that I mentioned because most of them were leaning gourmand, okay? Very sweet. This to me is more of that beautiful green fall scent, but it's still quite cozy to me, but super elegant, and this is indigo from nest let's take a moment for this beautiful artwork of the packaging it is so stunning and captivating in the opening there is fig and fig i feel like is something that i'm really starting to love in fragrances and then there is tea in here i believe there's cardamom and then this beautiful note of cashmere wood the scent is unique it is unique it's new to my collection and i cannot wait to wear this more for the fall and winter it's just a a gorgeous gorgeous scent <sighs> if you love freshness if you love a green tone a little bit of this herbaliness in a fragrance you are absolutely going to enjoy this scent it is so beautiful it's so unique. It's very suave and kind of gentle. You will still pick up on that green, fresh kind of herbally tone in the background, but then there's this like deeper woodiness that comes to the forefront that is just beautiful. It's almost coated with a satin material. It's very elevated. It's such a gorgeous signature scent for the fall and winter time. And it's just stunning. If you don't love a sweet fragrance and you enjoy green tones in your scent, you are going to love this. If you love tea in your fragrances, please check this one out. I'm so happy that I have it in my collection and I cannot wait to pull this out for events because I feel like this is quite a memorable scent. It just feels very chic to me. And I think it will make just beautiful like evening scents or even like a work scent if you don't work in a place where it's gonna be too obnoxious. But in a way, this fragrance is not obnoxious, so don't be scared about that. You can get this at Sephora, by the way. Beautiful. Indigo has stunning fragrances. I mean, Nest has stunning fragrances, but I think out of all their scents, Indigo is definitely in my top three. So this one might be a little bit of a surprise to you guys, but I find this fragrance so cozy. It's not super deep, it's not super woody. It's actually more of a white floral. Some would say it's a bit tropical, but I have worn this this week twice now, and I think it's just a really stunning fragrance for the sweater weather moment. This is Fragrance Du Bois Oud Shaun Intense, and Fragrance Du Bois definitely has some of my favorite bottles. It's just so luxe. Like you really cannot go wrong with these bottles. So in here, we definitely have tropical notes. There is pineapple, there's fruity tones in here. I believe there's ylang ylang and there are beautiful white florals like jasmine and uh, orange blossom. And then in the dry down, we have your vanilla, we have your musk, and I believe there is oud in here. Yeah, there is oud in here. This is very much a floral fragrance and there is sweet tones in here but this just makes me feel so cozy and with a bit of brightness it's not going to be your deep woody smoky leathery fragrance which are typical for fall and winter but when i have a sweater on and i wear this i love it <sighs> 
Definitely you have to enjoy white florals. I find it is quite heavy on the white florals. You will get that creaminess of the tube rose and the orange blossom. So keep that in mind and also sample it. Sample, 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 especially with niche fragrances. If you are not 100% sure, go ahead and sample it. Oh, that atomizer. I gotta give you guys a close up of the atomizer. Honey, it's just a stunning mist. <sighs> This is feminine, it's elegant, it's elevated. It is a true woman right here. Kayali Vanilla 28. I mean, if you do a fragrance when it comes to fall and winter, this, this has to be in it. If you do a list of fragrances, it's a beautiful vanilla. It's one of my favorite vanillas. And I'll be honest, when I first got it, the first bottle, I don't know why, wasn't like, amazing to me and then my second bottle was just stunning it is a beautiful sweet sweet fragrance that is so cozy so enveloping and so inviting yet very sexy and alluring this makes for a beautiful layering fragrance with a ton of other fragrances that would go perfectly for fall and winter it is absolutely feminine to me because you get that heavy dose of vanilla but it's deep it uh, has character. It's not just sugar sweet. I absolutely love it. I love this right out of the shower. You're gonna go to bed and honey, you might have some, some plans in mind. This is delicious, but also on date night, you have a beautiful outfit and you're feeling yourself. It's stunning. You wanna layer this with something more woody or more leathery. It's just perfect. It's beautiful and I highly recommend you getting this if you love sweet vanillas you can't go wrong with this one my bottle is quite old you guys can see that the lettering is fading off my juice is super super deep if you have a heavy dose of vanilla and fragrances it tends to oxidize over time that doesn't mean that your fragrance has gone bad it just means it's getting real good okay i love when my vanilla sits for a while and this definitely has been sitting for a little while so we have one of my favorite gourmands when it comes to designers this is beautiful Beautiful if you love a good cacao and vanilla scent. This is Prada Candy Night. And wow, wow, wow. Ever since I laid my nose on this fragrance, I can't stop talking about it. It is just delicious, especially if you love a warm fragrance, something sweet, something vanillic, maybe a little powdery. You should definitely check this one out. The notes in here are stunning. They're definitely brighter in the opening. We got a bit of orange, we got neroli, and we got iris, which gives it a little bit of this powdery tone. There is vanilla, tonka bean, chocolate, patchouli. You will get the heavy dose of patchouli in the dry down, I won't lie, but it really just balances this fragrance off and prevents it from being too sickening sweet. And I think it's just an elevation to the original Prada. It's a little bit more grown and sophisticated. And of course it is deliciously gourmand because you definitely will pick up on that chocolate note. This to me smells like a delicious hot mocha, okay? You're sitting at the finest coffee shop and you order yourself a delicious mocha with maybe a little almond croissant on the side, honey. This is it right here. You know when you see those videos on Instagram or TikTok of the girls just sitting outside in Paris drinking their little lattes and mochas? This is what I think of. Like this is what you need to be wearing when you go and do that because it smells exactly that entire aesthetics. Um, not super, super long lasting, but for a designer fragrance, I feel like it lasts really well on me. And I think it's because of that chocolatey note, especially on my clothes, I am good to go for a couple of hours divine so we are at the end of our video for today i really hope you guys enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today i will list all of these fragrances down in the description box so check it out these are my go-to cozy sweater weather fragrances i'm sure i can list a ton of other scents but i'm going to leave it at that i hope you enjoyed it leave a comment down below give this video a big thumbs up and i'd love to know what are your sweater weather fragrances comment down below and and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!